Hi, this is Mobile Stiltskin, and this is the Let's Play of FTL. And with me is my first officer. Number three. Hello, everybody. Uh, so we're going to play some FTL. Um, we'll go ahead and start a new game. Um, if you want to see some more details about it, you can always check the thread. Uh, for this first run, we're going to do the Type A Kestrel, which is what you start with uh, at the very beginning of the game. AKA the Enterprise. It's, you know, the basic ship. It's a lot of fun. And uh, we're going to play on normal mode. Uh, hard, we're not going to play on hard. Um, we'll go ahead and name it the Doom Bus. And we can uh, name each of the crew members, but we can go ahead and do that in the thread. So right now, we'll just go ahead and leave them how they are and start. Um, so basically we're carrying some vital data to the Federation fleet, namely that you should kill their capital ship, which seems pretty obvious, but I guess they need to know that. So uh, this is where we are. We've got three humans. They're relatively standard guys. There's nothing too special about them. They are currently manning some different systems on our ship. So this is uh, our pilot. He's going to make sure that our ship can potentially evade shots. You can see our evasion is a 20% chance right now. And uh, then we've got our guy manning weapons. He's going to fire our weapons a little bit faster. And on engines, he's going to help us evade a little bit better. Uh, looking at our weapons, we've got a burst laser Mark II, which is actually one of my favorite weapons in the game. Just because it's pretty low energy and it still shoots off three shots. It's really good. Uh, and then we've got our Artemis missile. It's a pretty standard missile. It'll uh, go through shields, but it does take ammunition. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to jump. This is our star map. Jump to the store immediately. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, number three, I don't think that we should jump to the store. No, cause... I mean, we totally have so much money, right? We're starting off. You start off at max money, correct? Yeah, so right now we have 10 scrap, which is almost nothing, and anything at the store is going to cost more than that. So uh, we're actually being pursued by the rebel fleet, and if we go to a place we don't get anything from, then that will harm us. Um, we're basically just trying to make our ship really badass before we get to the end of the game. Otherwise, we'll definitely lose. Um, so I just clicked through that. I'm not going to read through every single uh, event that we get to. Um, I'll basically summarize the interesting ones. Like this, this is one. bad. So um, we're right next to a giant star. You can see there's a little danger there. That means that our ship will be periodically set on fire. Uh, and uh, So that'll be good. This uh, ship we're fighting here is a rock ship, which means that... Uh, they have rock guys on board who are immune to flame, so this is going to hurt us a lot more than them. Fortunately, our weapons are just way superior. Ooh, they did nick us a little bit, but we already took out their shields and one of their weapons, so they can't get through our shields. And we're going to finish that off. Ooh, now they're uh, offering to surrender. Oh, that's a cool little feature. It actually tells you what they're gonna give you. Ah, yeah. uh, that's a good point number three. So uh, in advanced edition they've changed the interface a little bit. It's a little friendlier so um, you've got symbols and stuff for everything you're about to get. Now this is actually fantastic. Um, in the very first sector you don't get very much scrap at all so seven is really just a tiny amount. Um, every sector you go to it increases a little bit more. Uh, but the thing is, a static reward, like a combat drone, is always worth the same amount no matter where you are in the game. So even if we don't want to use this, in fact we can't use it right now because we don't have a drone control system, we can still sell it for way more than our scrap reward was going to be. So that's great. Um, we're going to accept that surrender. And immediately get burned by a solar and, uh, player. We can't... Normally when you beat an opponent, you can immediately jump away without waiting, but since... The game knows that we could potentially uh, get set on fire, and in fact we have. You'll uh, see that it doesn't let us jump away right away. Um, we do have a little bit of time before the sun hits us again, so I'm going to go ahead and put that fire out, get my guys back where they need to be, and then we'll jump. Making sure that it's paused while we're jumping so that we don't get set on fire again. Uh, and now we've jumped into another environmental hazard, so this is just going great for us. We're in the middle of a plasma storm, or the game will actually, the symbol will say ion storm. What that means is that we have half uh, ship energy, 
and which means there's almost nothing. Uh, fortunately, it looks like they're similarly affected, so they have a laser here. You can kind of get familiar with what the weapons look like as you play the game. I'm pretty sure that laser only shoots one, so if I turn on our shields, even with our engines off, it doesn't matter that we can't evade because it won't get through the shields. Except it looks like they're uh, Ooh. transported on our ship. Good point, number three. <laughs> See, I didn't even notice that. Um, I forgot to point out that we're in uh, a nebula right now which means that our sensors don't work, so I couldn't even see that this guy was inside our sensor room destroying it. Um, now that wouldn't have really made a big difference because he's, uh, our sensors don't work anyway right now, but it's still better to not have that get destroyed. That's a very interesting uh, choice by the AI to go and attack the sensor room. Um, our oxygen is off right now, I should point out, um, and so our oxygen levels are dropping. That's not going to hurt us until our oxygen gets to nothing, and then our guys will immediately start to die. But um, we should be able to kill them before that happens. Oh, there it is. And, uh, ooh, they're trying to surrender. I don't think we want to accept mm, that, because we no. can probably get more if we kill them. They try to invade our ship. Anyone yeah. who sets foot on our ship, we, di we kill, right? That's, I think that's, that's a good way to do it, yeah. number three. Um, you'll notice they're trying to run away now, but it said enemy FTL delayed. That would be because um, I took out their piloting subsystem. And you can see we got a better reward than if we had accepted their surrender. Um, I took out their piloting, which prevented them from being able to charge their drive and jump away. Um, if they had jumped away, they would have probably warned the rebel fleet. It would catch up to us that much faster, and we wouldn't get to explore as much before we had to run to the next sector. Let's make sure we're sending our guys to the correct places. This one was actually on weapons. Um, that matters because your guys will get uh, skill increases over time. If you hover over their name, you'll see their various skills. So, like, they can be a better pilot, engine, shields, and so on. Um, and that'll help you uh, in a variety of ways. Mostly just increasing the bonus to evasion if it's on engines and stuff like that. The reason I'm jumping to these nebulas, even though my sensors don't work, is because it makes it so the rebel fleet takes longer to catch up to you, which gives us a better chance to explore. Um, looks like we're facing off against a guy who has a missile, which can go through our shield. So that's not awesome, but if he hits us just once, that's probably okay. <laughs> and look what he did. Except he went ahead and hit us in our shields, and then he zapped our engines, but that's okay, because I just took out his weapons. So even though our shields are down, we're actually not in big trouble. Normally it's really bad for your shields to go down, but our burst laser Mark III is just so powerful right now that uh, nothing can really stand up against it. So we're at 50 scrap, um, which is a good time to point out. Uh, we could get something from the store um, and save up, but if we click on ship, we actually have some upgrades here. Um, so these are all the various things we can upgrade. To get another bubble of shields, we actually have to upgrade it twice. And, you also uh, have to upgrade, give yourself the power to power that. So in total, I think you'd be spending probably about 60 or 70 scrap just for the extra shield, right? Right, so we would spend 50 uh, to get the shield, and then we would need 40 more to power it. So we oh, don't so have enough 90. for that. Yeah. Um, you may also notice in Advanced Edition, Improved Doors costs almost twice as much. Um, oh, they would do that, wouldn't they? <laughs> it's really, really important. If you get boarded and you have blast doors, then it takes them a little while to break through them. But if not, like right now, they can have free reign of our ship. If you have blast doors, you can open up your doors and kind of suffocate them to death, and it's really awesome. I think right now I'm just going to save our scrap. We jumped to this distress drone, because often you can get good <laughs> rewards without fighting. This particular event is kind of infamous uh, it's as, as the space station's being overrun by giant spiders. Now we could send our crew to help them, but they might die. And uh, we could get a reward, but it's probably not worth risking They're one of spiders. our spiders. Why would you want to help spiders? Why would you even want to mess with spiders, ever? That's a good point. You don't want to help or mess with spiders. So we're just going to leave them to their fate. Good luck. Um, if we had had some other items, there would be some blue options there that would give us a guaranteed chance of success, but we don't have anything like that. So, oh cool, another sun. 
Um, and this time it's against an AI ship that is impervious to the heat, so that's, <laughs> that's all kinds of special. Um, I think if we fire a missile at their shields first and then hit their weapons, we should be alright. Um, that little drone that's hanging out, zapping my shield, isn't doing anything right now. I think that's a fire beam drone, so if he successfully hit, he would set the ship on fire. But he can't get through shields. If the laser had hit our shields and he zapped at the same time, he could get us. And the sun can always get us. Seems like the sun really likes getting us, doesn't it? It sure does. Um, right now, sending two guys to put out the fire is uh, enough to do it quickly where they don't take too much damage. Too bad we don't have any rock men. Yeah, that is too bad. I think that guy was on shields instead of weapons, but that's alright. Fix that now. I'm gonna jump over here, a nice ordinary looking node. Okay, so this is a new event in Advanced Edition. It looks like there's a merchant who wants some help. Let's say yes. And then he wants us to uh, go looking for uh, some guys who went to a pirate filled sector. Well, that sounds like fun, so let's accept it. Um, the quest is over here, so we're going to have to go over there, and I think we should have enough time. I One, sure hope so. Two, I, think, I think we'll have enough. Barely. You can kind of look at it and try and measure it out, but I, can, I tend to prefer to just chance it, because I don't have time for that. Alright, um, this pirate is attacking a remote settlement. This is an event where we could potentially get double rewards for killing the ship and the settlement that we help. Looks like we've been boarded by a rock man. Oh, great. Um, so a rock man is extra slow moving, but he also has 150 health instead of 100. And he's immune to fire. Um, but if we hit him with two guys, that's okay. And actually, you'll notice one guy is getting injured. Here's a neat trick. If you tell both your guys while you're paused to leave the room, then you tell your guy that you want to switch come into the top left slot first. You can tell him to come in first, the other guy comes in next, and then they switch, and they never left the room. So now our uh, higher health guy is fighting the rock man who just had to retreat. I'm not going to fire that other missile because I don't need to, and it's a waste of ammunition, so we'll just finish him off with the laser. No, kill him. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to forgive pirates. Because um, when we kill them, we'll get a better reward probably, and the settlement will be really happy with us. Should probably not forget to send those guys in the correct place. You might also want to heal them. That might be useful. Um, yeah, we'll heal them once the, the ship is dead. Because uh, they're not in any danger right now. And you'll notice these are getting repaired, so their crew is repairing their subsystems. They just couldn't do it fast enough. Sometimes the, the settlement will give you a better reward, but even that's pretty good on top of this ship for one node. We got a, a nice chunk of scrap there. We're at 91 now. Uh, and there just so happens to be a store, so having 90 scrap is uh, pretty good for Sector 1 getting to a store. Hopefully it'll have something useful. Um, you'll notice I'm just changing my power around down here. You don't need the med bay unless you're actually using it, so usually you'll keep it off. No reason to have an extra power. And here we are at the store. So um, there's two pages, and looks like they've got some lasers that aren't quite as good as ours now, um, some NGs and a human. Ooh, an that NG looks might be nice to have. Um, so an NG is a crew that does half damage when he's fighting boarders or if he's boarding, but he repairs at double speed. And he's also really, really useful for a lot of events that pop up as a blue option, which I would say is one of the best reasons to have an NG. Looks like on the other page we have Hacking, which is new in uh, Advanced Edition, and we have a Teleporter, as well as some other items. This is looking like a really good store, but we can't get everything. What is Distraction Buoys? I've never seen that one before. Um, this is a new augment in Advanced Edition, so every time we start in a sector, uh, it delays the Rebels, so we basically just get longer in each sector. Oh, that's, uh, that could be useful. Getting that in Sector 1 would be really good, because we get way more, but yeah. that's really expensive for right now, and there are other upgrades that would help us more. For example, we could upgrade to another bubble of shield right now, which might be really smart, but I'm really tempted to get the teleporter or an NG. 
I would say the NG just because it would be able to fill out all your subsystems that you you can put him on shields or something and you can have someone that can run around to repair a lot as you're going. Yeah, that's a pretty good point. Um, we'll hope that we don't have to repair, but you tend to need yeah. to sometimes. You, you, you're gonna have to repair um, at some point. I'd say the main reason though to have an NG right now is just for those blue options. There are a lot of them where you get way better bonuses automatically without having to fight. But 50 is a lot, and there are also events where you can get free crew members. Um, and another shield would be really good right now. Um, if we jump again, we'll be at this quest. You know, I think while we are at the store, we should go ahead and get that NG. Um, I would repair, but there are events where you can repair for free, and right now we're not too far down, so I'm going to leave it how it is. I don't think we need fuel right now. So, um, we're pretty good. It does use one fuel every time you jump, so if you run out of fuel, that's really bad. Hopefully we won't have to see that. This is our quest. We're starting to scan for the lost ship. Looks like we found their damaged ship. And, uh, he was gonna join our crew for free. And, oh. uh, we just got a Mantis. Oh, that's which fun. The Mantis... Kind of makes me wish we had gotten the teleporter. So a mantis moves extra fast and does, I think, twice as much damage in melee, but repairs at half speed. So basically, they're excellent boarders and they're good for fighting off. When <laughs> they you are get the boarded. opposite of the uh, of the of engines. The engines. Right. Oh, here's another new thing in Advanced Edition. If you put a guy in your doors, yeah, it'll improve it automatically. And in fact, when you're upgrading your ship you can get to uh, even better doors than was possible before if you upgrade it uh, twice and then you have a guy in there. And the same goes for your sensors. Um, having a guy in there now will actually do something. There's not a skill associated with it, so they don't improve at it. It just kind of, if you have an extra guy, you can put them in there and it'll help so you So you don't have like a bunch of people sitting around doing nothing most of the time. Exactly, That's cool. yeah. Um, and while we're talking about this stuff, doors, uh, piloting, and sensors, these are all subsystems. They don't actually take power, so that's why they're over here. But they can still get damaged, and then they won't work. Okay. Um, actually, we weren't even... Oh, we got uh, another follow-up quest to that quest that just gave us a free mantis. Um, we got the station, we dropped off the cargo, they gave us some scrap and a repair drone that we can sell because it's... Um, pretty useless, but that's a really good reward. Um, now it looks like we'll be safe if we go to this last node and then we'll be able to hop to the exit. You always want to explore as much as you can before you leave just to get as much scrap as possible. Um, I almost always like to aid civilian ships and all that kind of thing. You're just such a nice person. Uh, yeah, that's what it is. It's not because of all that delicious scrap they carry around. It's not. Um, so you may notice they have this weird looking green shield here. Oh, we just got hit by an ion weapon too. That's going to temporarily disable our shields. So that's bad. Um, anyway, we they have this green shield. It's a Zoltan shield. It doesn't recharge, but they start the fight with it, and it's like five points. So it's uh, pretty powerful. Um, I don't want to move that energy from where he is. Um, we just got one of their weapons. We got the ion weapon, but we really need to take out that laser. It's just, we got lucky there. With only 10% evasion, we still dodged it. And now they don't have weapons, so we can focus on the shields. Um, well, it looks like they got their ion back, but that's not threatening by itself. We can power our missile, but we don't really need it. And we only need to hit them three more times to kill them, so hopefully this will work, but if not, We'll at least do some more damage to their weapons so they can't hurt us. And now we can. Okay, so we got that. A lot of times a civilian ship does just jump away like here, but sometimes they hang around and they'll repair you for free and give you a bunch of free stuff, things like that. Um, we have 74 scrap. I tend to like to wait when I'm close to the exit just because when you get to the next sector, a lot of times there's a store nearby just because you're seeing so many new nodes. And it's good to have scrap when you're near a store. Um, looks like there was a battle that was fought here some time ago. I think we should go ahead and yeah, check that out. Yeah, we might find some free scrap. 
Oh, uh, there we go. Okay, uh, seven Lopping is not seven much, pieces. but it's definitely more than nothing, so that's all right. Um, now this is where we'll choose uh, what sector to jump to, but we're going to go ahead and cut it off here. So I will see you next time, probably in a pirate-controlled sector.